<clears throat> Good rising. Twisted Sage here. Sun is almost nine degrees Taurus. Uh definitely conjunct your ass, <laughs> your anus. Um, the moon is at the end end of Scorpio, 29 degrees. Um Grand Solar Minimum Much. Uh, we're damn near in the middle of spring. So 15 degrees of Taurus is the middle of spring. Um, and as you can see, it's not very spring-like, huh? Although I guess it's not in the White Mountains in the past. Yeah, you can get some snowstorms, but... Um, so let's bring the astrology in. So Taurus is a spring element, but you got Uranus shaking the mix up. Like my dew. <laughs> um, so uh, we got fall energy, winter energy. Kind of a paradoxical thing because... Uh, Pluto ruling Scorpio. Um, Scorpio rules frozen water. Uh, obviously, the planet Squ uh, Pluto is the furthest out there, the coldest planet. Um, Uranus, Uranus is a winter planet. Um, I guess we consider Saturn a winter planet. Being ruled by both Capricorn and Aquarius. Therefore, Saturn is at home, bringing winterness. Um, and we got that square energy all year to Uranus, a winter planet. Um, so I see, I feel like we see that reflected in the element. We had the full moon. Um, in a water sign, bringing moisture, opposing Uranus, squaring Saturn, boom. T-square of fixed energy to the colder fixed elements. Um, Yeah. I guess my main message was correlating the astrology with the weather. Again. Yes, you have your own free will, but that doesn't mean where's your location on earth. And. Out the influence. You know, in a certain sense, yes, you're, okay, you're not your astrology, you're your spirit. Um, but you've chosen to be in this vehicle in this time or you've been created to be here. And you don't have that option to be elsewhere. <laughs> um, Mini Ice Age by 2030. Not saying the whole world's going to freeze, but longer winters, they're going to start sooner, they're going to end later. Obviously, a place like Phoenix, Arizona, you get closer to the equator, the further you go south, probably not as big a deal. Um, but the further you go north, it's going to be like this. One thing I value about the cold is purity. Survive and thrive. All right. Good, good, good day. Oh, another aspect perhaps with the weather. Uh, Pluto went retrograde yesterday. Uh Oddly enough, I have 
two court dates at the same motherfucking time. So I got to deal with that paradox. <sighs> That's painting my hair. Grazing my beard, but painting my hair. As the cosmos turns, always remember that if you're not paying attention to our stars, you are sailing the seas of life with no compass. <laughs>